blood in the water. Those four words have struck fear into the hearts of ocean goers for generations. But what if I told you that almost everything you've heard about sharks and blood detection is, well, not exactly true. Welcome back to Jaws and Claws, and today we're diving deep, literally and figuratively, into one of the ocean's most persistent myths. Can sharks really detect a single drop of blood from miles away? The short answer is no. But why do I say this? How can it be because you've seen the movies? You know the classic scene, someone gets a tiny cut, a drop of blood hits the water, and suddenly sharks appear from nowhere, racing towards their prey with laser-focused precision. It's the perfect Hollywood moment, but is it based in scientific reality? Let's start by addressing the elephant, or rather, the great white in the room. The myth that sharks can smell a single drop of blood from miles away is just that, a myth. But that doesn't mean their sensory capabilities aren't truly remarkable. They have some incredible organs capable of finding prey in more ways than just smell. In reality, sharks can detect blood in concentrations as low as one part per million. That's equivalent to about one drop of blood in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Impressive? Absolutely. Supernatural? Not quite. When blood enters the water, it doesn't remain concentrated. It disperses, becoming more diluted the further it travels from its source. Ocean currents, temperature, and other environmental factors all influence how far these chemical signals can travel. Most scientific studies suggest that sharks can detect blood reliably within a range of about a quarter mile, 400 meters, under ideal conditions. Still impressive, but a far cry from the miles away often claimed in popular culture. But do you know what's not miles away? That subscribe button. It's right there, and it's free, so join us in upcoming videos. Thanks. To understand sharks' relationship with blood, we need to explore their extraordinary sense of smell, arguably the most sophisticated in the animal kingdom. Unlike humans, who have a single nostril cavity divided into two, sharks have two completely separate nostrils used exclusively for smelling, not breathing. These nostrils are lined with specialized cells called olfactory lamellae, folded tissue that dramatically increases the surface area available for detecting chemicals in the water. The great white shark, for instance, has approximately 300 million olfactory receptor cells compared to our mere 5 to 6 million. This gives them a sense of smell estimated to be 10,000 times more sensitive than ours. As sharks swim, water flows through their nostrils in a continuous stream, allowing them to sample their chemical environment constantly. When they detect something interesting, many species can actively pump water through their olfactory organs, enhancing their ability to locate the source. But here's something fascinating that's often overlooked. Sharks don't just detect blood as a single substance. They're picking up on specific amino acids released when blood enters the water. Research has shown they're particularly sensitive to amino acids like glycine, alanine, and taurine, components found in the blood and tissue fluids of many marine organisms. Not all sharks are created equal when it comes to blood detection. Let me introduce you to the champions of this sensory world. The nurse shark might look sluggish, but don't be fooled. These bottom dwellers have some of the most sensitive olfactory systems among all shark species. They can detect prey hidden completely under sand based on chemical signals alone. The hammerhead shark deserves special mention. Their distinctive head shape isn't just for show. It serves as a highly evolved sensory platform. The wide separation of their nostrils allows them to detect chemical gradients with extraordinary precision, essentially creating a stereo effect for smell. This gives hammerheads a directional advantage when tracking scent trails, potentially making them among the most efficient blood detectors in the shark world. Tiger sharks are known as the garbage cans of the sea because they'll eat almost anything. This adaptability is supported by an incredibly versatile olfactory system that can identify a wide range of potential food sources, including blood from various species. And yes, the great white shark, the ocean's most famous predator, has an exceptional ability to detect blood. Studies suggest they can respond to concentrations as low as one part per billion under certain conditions. That's equivalent to detecting a single drop in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. What makes sharks truly remarkable isn't just their sense of smell. It's how they integrate multiple sensory systems to create a comprehensive picture of their environment. Remember those special organs I mentioned earlier? The ampullae of Lorenzini are jelly-filled pores that connect to sensory cells, allowing sharks to detect electrical fields as small as five billionths of a volt. Every living organism produces electrical fields through muscle contraction and nerve impulses, and sharks can detect these invisible signals. Blood and water creates both chemical and electrical cues. 
When an animal is injured, its muscles contract irregularly, producing distinctive electrical patterns that sharks can detect. These electrical signals can sometimes be more informative than chemical cues, especially in murky water or at close range. Sharks also possess a lateral line system, a series of pressure-sensitive cells running along their bodies that detect water movements. This allows them to feel vibrations produced by struggling prey, complementing their chemical and electrical sensing abilities. And contrary to popular belief, sharks have excellent vision, especially in low-light conditions. Some species can see about 10 times better than humans in dim light. While their color perception may be limited, they're highly attuned to contrast and movement, perfect for detecting the silhouette of potential prey against the water surface. Scientists have conducted numerous experiments to test sharks' responses to blood in controlled environments. Let me walk you through some fascinating findings. In a study conducted off the coast of South Africa, researchers released different solutions into the water around great white sharks. Pure fish blood certainly attracted attention, but contrary to popular belief, human blood elicited minimal response. In fact, the sharks showed greater interest in solutions containing fish oils and extracts. Another experiment in the Bahamas with reef sharks revealed something even more surprising. When presented with equal volumes of fish blood, mammal blood, and seawater control, the sharks consistently showed the strongest response to fish blood, their natural prey. Human blood ranked far lower on their interest scale. This highlights an important point. Sharks aren't indiscriminate blood-seeking missiles. They've evolved to respond most strongly to the chemical signatures of their natural prey. Human blood simply doesn't register as food to most shark species based on its chemical composition. Here's where things get really interesting. When blood enters water, it doesn't just release chemical compounds. It creates an electrical disturbance that sharks can detect through their ampullae of Lorenzini. Fresh wounds generate distinctive electrical fields as damaged cells release ions into the surrounding water. For a shark, this creates an unmistakable signal that something injured and potentially vulnerable is nearby. In experiments, sharks have been shown to respond to electrical fields mimicking injured prey even in the complete absence of blood or other chemical cues. This suggests that in some hunting scenarios, their electroreception may be even more important than their sense of smell. The great hammerhead, with its widely spaced electroreceptors, can detect a stingray buried under sand based solely on the electrical field generated by the ray's breathing. This is like finding a needle in a haystack using a metal detector, except the metal detector is built into their head. To truly understand sharks' blood detection abilities, we need to consider the environment in which they operate. The ocean is in constant motion. Currents, temperature gradients, and salinity variations all affect how chemical signals like blood disperse. In strong currents, blood can be quickly diluted and carried away from its source, making detection challenging even for sharks. Water temperature also plays a crucial role. Chemical reactions occur more quickly in warmer water, which can intensify scent molecules but also cause them to dissipate faster. In colder waters, scents linger longer but may be harder to detect initially. Water clarity is another factor. In turbid or murky waters, sharks rely more heavily on their electroreception and lateral line systems since visual and even chemical cues become less effective. In crystal clear waters, they might depend more on vision to locate potential prey. This environmental context explains why sharks' responses to blood can vary dramatically in different situations. It's not just about their sensory capabilities. It's about how these capabilities function within the complex, ever-changing ocean environment. From an evolutionary standpoint, sharks' ability to detect blood makes perfect sense. These ancient predators have been evolving for over 450 million years, that's more than 200 million years before dinosaurs appeared. In the competitive marine environment, being able to locate injured or vulnerable prey provides a significant advantage. Sharks evolved their exceptional sensory systems not to hunt humans, a species they rarely encountered throughout their evolutionary history, but to efficiently locate their natural prey in the vast three-dimensional ocean environment. Different shark species have evolved specialized sensory adaptations based on their hunting strategies. Bottom-dwelling species like wabagongs have highly developed electroreception for detecting prey hidden in sand. Open ocean hunters like blue sharks have exceptional olfactory systems for tracking scent trails across vast distances. This sensory specialization has allowed sharks to become incredibly successful predators, occupying virtually every marine habitat on Earth. Their blood detection abilities aren't a superpower, their sophisticated adaptations refined through millions of years of evolution. The truth about sharks is far more fascinating than the myths. 
These animals aren't mindless killing machines with supernatural powers. They're highly evolved predators with sophisticated sensory systems perfectly adapted to their ocean environment. By understanding the science behind sharks' abilities, we can move beyond fear and develop a deeper appreciation for these magnificent creatures that have been maintaining ocean health for hundreds of millions of years. Next time you hear someone claim that sharks can smell a drop of blood from miles away, you'll know better. And perhaps, more importantly, you'll understand that these ancient predators deserve our respect and protection, not our fear. Thanks for joining us on this journey into the sensory world of sharks. If you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to hit that subscribe button and check out our other videos on sharks and other amazing animals and animal encounters. And I'd love to hear your questions about sharks or suggestions for future marine topics in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious, and remember, in the world of sharks, the truth is more amazing than fiction.